this problem is find the antiderivative of x to the fifth over 1 minus x cubed quantity cubed dx. If we take a look at this, we see that there's a composition in the problem that would be 1 minus x cubed raised to the third power. So that means we're going to use integration by substitution. So to proceed, integration by substitution, we're going to target the inside of the composition, 1 minus x cubed. So I'm going to let that be equal to u. We're going to take the derivative of this, and then it's going to be du equals that derivative times dx. This derivative is going to be 1 goes to 0, 3 comes down, so I get minus 3x. Take 1 off of that gives me squared. I isolate dx, so we push the minus 3x squared into the bottom of the du. And then we put everything back into our original integrand and see what falls out. So here, dx becomes du over minus 3x squared. Our composition just becomes u cubed. And then we have x to the fifth up top. I do some cancellation, and then we notice we're stuck with an x cubed. So we need to get rid of that. So I go back to my integration by substitution checklist and see if we can get rid of an x cubed. I take a look and I notice x cubed actually shows up in my formula for u. So I'm just going to push everything around to get x cubed by itself. So in this case, it's going to be x cubed equals 1 minus u. I put that in for x cubed, and then we could start reducing this to make sense of things. Also note this 3 in the bottom. Don't pull that out as minus 3. That's in the bottom here, so it has to be on the bottom on the outside. So if it's on the bottom on the outside, there's a 1 up top, which is invisible if you're just looking here. So that out in front gets a minus 1 third. Now, I'm going to divide u cubed into each of these. So that's really the same as multiplying by u to the minus 3. So I'm going to have u to the minus 3 times 1 and u to the minus 3 times u to the 1. So that gives me u to the minus 2. We have this, and this is something we definitely know how to take the antiderivative of. So we add 1, gives me minus 2. I flip it over, I get minus a half. Here I have minus 2. I add 1, gives me minus 1. I flip it over, gives me minus 1. Hits that minus sign and becomes a plus. I parentheses all of this to make sure my minus 1 third distributes correctly, or we'll get an answer when we we'll get a wrong answer when we check at the end. Okay, take the antiderivatives, perfectly good here, and so I just substitute back in u equal to 1 minus x cubed, and then we're done. Of course, we check our answer if there's time. So in this case, I'm going to take the derivative of what's in the box. So this is just going to be a lot of chain rule. So remember, integration by substitution is just undoing the chain rule. So what we're doing here is bring that down, gives me minus one-third. Subtract one off that, gives me a minus three. And then chain rule says multiply by derivative of the inside, which is minus three x squared. For this term, we bring the minus one down. I get one-third. We're going to take one off of that, gives me a minus two. Derivative of the inside gives me a minus three x squared. Okay. Now, Let's see what we have here. I put these minus 3's in the bottom, just so things look easier to manipulate. This x squared over 1 minus x cubed squared term, which is just this, what I'm going to do here is I need one more 1 minus x cubed term in here to get that to 3. So I multiply by 1 in the form 1 minus x cubed over 1 minus x cubed. We distribute the minus x squared. So note, we've got to carry the minus sign with it if we want to get the right signs to come out. Minus x squared times 1 gives me a minus x squared. Minus x squared times minus x cubed gives me plus x to the fifth. Okay, this x squared just carries over as is since we're not doing anything to the first term. The x squareds go away, and I'm left with x to the fifth over 1 minus x cubed raised to the third power. And we note that's our original function.